Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another video. So over the last couple of days our good friends over at makingstarwars.net have been teasing something huge. I knew that this was going to be something Boba Fett related, I teased it in my previous video and also on Twitter, but today they posted it. This is huge. The return of Boba Fett and in the second half a strike complicates the Mandalorian's future. Let's dive straight into this. From the sounds of things, there is a secret Book of Boba Fett season 2 in production. Here's what they say. The re-return of Boba Fett. Lucasfilm plans to have Star Wars The Mandalorian's fourth season, filming this October 2023. I can confirm hires, props, and pre-production work on the fourth season of The Mandalorian is currently underway for the last few weeks. Mando season 4 was written early because Hollywood is about to strike. Also, there is a chance Book of Boba Fett season 2 was also written, and I'll explain why. They say, interestingly, I've spoken to sources around Southern California who are working on production elements specifically tied to the character of Boba Fett himself. These sources believe they're working on a second season of the Book of Boba Fett, which almost doesn't make sense in this context, because most crew members are working on the fourth season of Star Wars The Mandalorian, and there's no confusion as there was for season 3 when fans thought the Book of Boba Fett was the third season, this is for Mando 4, but there is another project happening concurrently, and this could be the Book of Boba Fett season 2. But making Star Wars say either way, this is good news for Boba fans because he's definitely back, so even if we don't get him much in season 3, we can expect expect a second season of The Book of Boba Fett, that's what it sounds like. So what were some of these props? They say in Southern California, there were Boba Fett props as well as Slave One's cockpit. They say Moff Gideon's new Mando armor is being remade so he doesn't die in season 3. Also new Imperial Troopers and Mando's new jetpack so it could be for season 4. They also reveal that for the last few months, word has been that Dave Filoni is leading a new project and that project is not the second season of Ahsoka. There have been rumours of a crossover event with all of the Mando shows. There were also rumours of a Bo-Katan show but this could be for season 2 of Boba. But they do make it very clear. This article is not telling us there is a second season for sure, but there are a lot of signs that point towards it. Just like Ahsoka and Skeleton crew film side by side, they say Mando season 4 and Book of Boba Fett season 2 might do the same. Now with regards to the Ahsoka show, in yesterday's video, I mentioned how Star Wars Insider for May and some Lego sets hint at a summer release, but Rosario Dawson told the Today Show it's probably going to release in the fall. But due to strikes, there is a lot of uncertainty with how the year is going to unfold for the industry and what that's going to mean for Star Wars. But what do you guys think? Do you want to see a Book of Boba Fett Season 2? And what do you make of this news? John Favreau's creative vision is undeniable. The Mandalorian Season 3 is a week and a day away, but John and Dave are always one step ahead. In fact, at Star Wars Celebration last May, Favreau revealed he's already started writing Season 4, and now in a brand new interview with BFM TV, a French station, Favreau confirms he's finished it. That's right guys, The Mandalorian Season 4 is written. They're gonna start production in Manhattan to meet studios in late September, early October. In the interview, John Favreau talks about the structure of the story. It's always one chapter after another. He understands the big picture, not just the short term. And it's also worth noting that Skeleton Crew feeds right into Mando season 4 because the characters from that show, the teacher who is Jude Law's character, and the kids are gonna feature in Mando. Very exciting stuff. And so now guys, some very good news for Star Wars Celebration. Carl Weathers, who plays Grief Karga and directs in The Mandalorian as well, is confirmed. Is he going to feature or direct in Ahsoka as well? Alongside him we have Brian Herring, who famously puppeteered BB-8 and some Porgs in The Last Jedi. Not to mention the first female stormtrooper, Samantha Lane, who featured in all five Disney Star Wars movies. She played over 15 characters. These are the latest three to join an already star-filled lineup for Star Wars Celebration in London. And so now, my dear Megalorians, it's time for some Bad Batch. Tomorrow is episode 10 of season 2, Retrieval. And that's going to be the second part of this arc, where the Batch had the Marauder stolen by a mysterious entity. As I mentioned in my full episode breakdown, I think Sid put her up to it. She sent them on this mission to set them up. She wanted them abandoned. She promised to send them some help in a few days, but I don't think she will. Are they going to find answers on that planet, or are there going to be more mysteries and challenges? The Star Wars social media accounts also gave us a new character poster, this one of Granddaddy Palps. Look out for my full episode breakdown and review. And so now guys, we're going to be talking about every upcoming movie now in development at Lucasfilm. Now a lot of these are either unconfirmed or we haven't had an update about them in a long time, some of them are hearsay, and others we should rightly be sceptical about. So let's start with Rogue Squadron. 
It's really interesting hearing about this film still in development because we've gone back and forth so many times about Patty Jenkins' film. It was said to be post Rise of Skywalker. She was going to be inspired by the video game by the same name, as well as the book series and the comics. But if you remember a year and a half ago, we were told it's been cancelled. They said it was going to be indefinitely delayed and Patty Jenkins had some creative differences with Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm. But then, LRM Online, who've leaked quite a few things in the past, they do have a mixed track record, but generally they've been accurate. They said it's still in development, but instead of a standalone, this is supposed to be the middle instalment of a trilogy, an upcoming trilogy, so it's been pushed back. It's not going to be the 2025 film because that one is Damon Lindelof's untitled movie. This movie is set to star Yaya abdul Mateen II, and this is also going to be post-Rise of Skywalker, so exploring parts of the post-Episode 9 galaxy, but not necessarily with Rey or other familiar characters. A lot of these are going to be part of a new ensemble cast. So this is what they say. The untitled Star Wars movie by Watchmen writer Damon Lindelof was first revealed to be in the works in March 2022, and development appears to be moving along rather well, with the MCU's Miss Marvel director Sharmino Bechanoi having signed on late last year. Now we haven't actually had an official announcement about this, but with Star Wars Celebration set to give us a new slate of films, in other words the next set of Star Wars movies, we should hear about it there, with a more concrete cast, maybe even a title, and the direction Damon Lindelof is moving the franchise. A lot of fans have been skeptical about his involvement, given some of his previous work, but I'm always willing to give things a chance. Now, The Hollywood Reporter revealed the other day that Taika Waititi is still doing his untitled movie. I spoke with Jason and making Star Wars and he doesn't think this is going to happen. He thinks there are too many creative roadblocks, Taika Waititi just doesn't have time, and that's why, for all intents and purposes, it's been put on the back burner. But they say as recently as June of 2022, so this past summer, he was still trying to figure out what the story is, so we might not see this one for a long time, if it ever does come to fruition. Next up, we have Kevin Feige's untitled Star Wars movie. This is going to be the 2020 Seven film, and again, we have no idea what it's going to be about. And here we go, ah oh yes, Ryan Johnson's supposed new trilogy. This was announced like seven or eight years ago. I don't see it happening, I know he's still part of the creative team at Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy said a year and a half ago that he is still part of that process and that he's still informed about what's going on, so whenever he's ready, they're gonna give him his trilogy apparently. Now I know a lot of the fandom is not big on The Last Jedi, but Ryan Johnson is a very, very talented director and writer. I love the Two Knives Out films, I've seen mixed opinions about them, but for me, I think if you give him his own corner of the Star Wars universe, it's gonna be really good. Then we have Sean Levy's untitled movie, and this is the Deadpool 3 director. Levy reacted to the news by screenshotting these reports and saying he was, quote, losing his, you know what, over the news. The filmmaker is currently in pre-production for his upcoming Deadpool 3 quill, so work on the Levy-led Star Wars film is likely not going to begin until late 2024 at the very earliest, when Deadpool 3 has finally been released, so we're talking about long term. After Disney invested day in 2020, we were all looking at the next slate, the Ahsoka show, The Mandalorian Season 3, Lando, The Acolyte, and of course, three Star Wars films, one of which is already on the back burner, and the other two are still to be released. But since then, a lot has changed with Disney and Lucasfilm, not to mention the return of Bob Iger, who wants to take Star Wars in a new direction. Let's see what's announced at Star Wars Celebration, I'm sure it's going to be big. Now, one of the upcoming rumoured Star Wars movies, which they didn't add in this article, is of course the one by Dan Hernandez and Ben Samet. They were the writers on Detective Pikachu, and Best Bin Bulletin heard they're writing an upcoming Star Wars film as well. A lot of fans speculated this could be about Grogu, given the style of film that they do. As I say, Star Wars Celebration should hold all the answers, so very intriguing stuff.